Well, hello and welcome back. So today's kind of a different episode. This episode's a uh, pretty good learning experience. <laughs> so essentially we're in a match, a tier 8 game. I'm in a T32 platoon up here with Old Scout and Hazmat. Um, I got my, he's got his RHM, Hazmat's in his GW Panther. We're here on Runeberg and it's a tier 9 high game. Now, I'm not trying to do this to show off skills at all. I'm not trying to show off anything else other than why you should always play until the end. You should play like hell, never give up, and do what you can. Now, I will spoil the fact that the match doesn't go quite the way I would want. But, I want to highlight a couple things in this match that will really, I think, help a lot of people do better in some tanks and in some situations. One of the first things I would like to talk about is you got to look at how the team deploys at the start of every match. Now, if you look here, I kind of notice that we're split. Obviously, we're slightly heavy into the city. We have enough guys going field, so I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I'm not worried about being overrun on the field. And on the city, I'm going to have to pull a little bit more of my weight. But I think we'll be fine. That's one of the first things. Now, in a T32, obviously fully upgraded. I have this thing set up for the... Um, this has my gold league set up on it. So, I kind of pop in here, I'm trying to get the spot, and I realize there's a tortoise, and he could use this spot a lot better than I can. So I say, you know what, alright, that's fine, I will back off and let him have it. I'm tier 8 to tier 9, I'm kind of a support role, and but this tank is good enough in certain situations, it could be quite nice. Now, I had to park right here. Um, I, I had something urgent I had to tend to, and so I kind of had to go away for him. A little bit now let's skip forward a little bit so we lose <laughs> this is kind of the interesting part so we lose a couple tanks we lose a tank in the city and you notice we're starting to get a little bit overrun over there but it's not too bad yet and I'm still gone this is the other part of this replay is uh, if you look here there's so many tanks. You know, I can tell a T-10 uh, M103, a T-30, a, a Yag Tiger. There's a Tiger II off that way. And there's a Conway. We're pretty outmatched in the city. And in the field, we're taking a little bit of ground over there. Now, this is the part where I wish I was back because free shots at the side of a Yag Tiger. Now, I know I'm spotted. There's no way I'm not spotted by the Yag Tiger. He's 230, 240 meters away. Now 250. But he's not looking at me. Old Scout puts a nice shot at the Ag Tiger. Obviously, he's using... Now I'm back, and I see him. Now, here is where... I'm looking for the shot. I stop. I aim fully. I wait. Put a shot into him. That's a free shot. First one. Looking for the shot. T-49 runs across. Wait for it. There we go. Second shot in. One more shot, and he's done. And notice, I do have the premium loaded. And this tank, I carry mostly premium because, well, the standard gun, at least in my opinion, it, the standard pen isn't quite good enough. But alright, so Yag Tiger's down. That was important. That means Old Scout over there is going to be alive. Now, T10. Premium round. Into the turret. There we go. There's 293. I'm still kind of looking at him. I'm still trying to look for a shot. Still trying to look for a shot. Oh, he gives me his lower plate? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Now, hold up. <laughs> Here's the thing about the T-32 that's so much fun. Is I'm using this cover right here to cover uh, the entire front like this. So he can only shoot at my side here on my turret. And obviously, he bounces. Now, here's the fun part. Is it's going to be myself versus a Conway, a Type 4, a T-10, and an M-103. And here's where the fun begins. And so I have to wait a minute, you know, wait a little bit of time. Mind you, it's 5 to 6. We have taken the field, but there's an object 704. He's going to be important later on. This M103. Now, I can see the M103 is looking this way. He gives me his track. I shoot his track, and he bounces off me. So, nice try, M103. I appreciate it. Oh, look, the T10 is going to come out. And notice how I'm using this. The T10 has this angle on me. If you're looking. 
So the T10 can technically pen here, not really. He'll bounce there all day and he'll bounce all here. This is actually quite a good spot for a T32. But the minute the enemy pushes till around that window is when they can start penning your side sometimes. So, and especially with high penetration guns, they'll get you. But okay, I bounce that shot, but I bounce his shot. So, I have a move point there. Now there's a Type 4 Heavy. That guy pounces his shot. Now, to be fair, he probably should be firing HE at me because of the caliber of his shells. Will at least do some damage, but he bounces his AP. And Old Scout kills the M103, which I, over team speak, I was thanking him <laughs> a lot. Because <laughs> the M103 is one of the only tanks I really don't like facing in this. Because his gun is just so much better. So, it looks like we're winning up to the north up there. Not so much anymore. <laughs> this match kind of goes downhill. Okay, now there's a Conway. I shoot one into him. And look, there's a T-10 in front of me. And I'm kind of waiting for him to fire, and I'll just put one in his uh, angle, and there we go. Angle front plate. Alright, so now, there it's a Yag Tiger, a T-10, and an M-103 down. Conway kills Old Scout. Now, Conway's going to go after the Hazmat over there and the GW Panther. Now it's 9 to 11. I am now the only non-artillery tank. Everybody else is artillery. I'm still on full health, and just to let you guys know my setup, I have a full crew in it, three skills on it, I have a gun rammer, vents, and I have a, I th believe I might have a toolbox on this with full repairs on my crew. So this thing, when you track me, I'm repaired almost instantly. Now, Conway's going for Hazmat, let's see what's going to happen. I know his name is I Kill You Two Times, but we've always called him Hazmat. Oh, now, this is an interesting spot. T-54 lightweight at one side, Type 4 heavy. Now watch how I handle this. I immediately turn myself completely around. Because I know, at this angling, the Type 4 has a chance to bounce. And I know I have to kill the T-54 lightweight. Now I back myself into the corner. Now here's the situation where the Type 4 heavy is going to be shooting me at this angle. And odds are, I don't think he's smart enough to aim for the engine deck. T-54 pens, that's only 199 damage. I can handle that. And Type 4 bounces. <laughs> T-54 tries to and just fails. So there we go. There's the third kill. And the Conway's trying to kill Hazmat. And I think Conway shoots Hazmat and Hazmat might have a chance here. Now, Type 4 heavy, first of all. One spot you shoot. Flat side. There you go. Thank you very much. Artillery hits him. He shoots me. It does nothing. And guess what? I got your flat side. You're dead. Kill number four. Now, there's only a Tiger 2 right there. There's a Conway to my left. I have to do something quickly. Tiger 2 fired. Okay, go, 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 go. Aim at his lower plate. Bang. Okay, that's kill number five. Now, it's myself versus a Conway, an object, and a T20. Now, I at this point, I think I did like 3,600 damage. I blocked a ton of shots. Okay, this is a problem. I have to get into a spot where I have some cover. Now, here's the spot where hindsight is kind of 2020. I probably could have gone after the 704, but the Conway would just flank me. And odds are the 704's DPM, even with that alpha, is still really good. So the odds of me killing him before he kills me are pretty terrible, even though he does have less health, but all he has to do is bounce one of my shots and then I'm screwed. Then there's also a wild T20 up there and a Conway. So I'm pretty much... I'm screwed. I, I, I gotta make the best of what I have here. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bait the 704 to shoot me, and I know the T20's behind me, and this whole time I'm constantly pinging back and forth. Now I'm looking, the 704 wants to fire. And... Now, here's what you do, guys. APCR. You notice where I hit? I hit right below the mantlet in the center there. That's a nice little weak spot. There we go. He bounces. Now, hindsight 2020. I should have pushed him right here. But I didn't because I was afraid of the Conway coming around from behind. 
and I don't push that object 704 when he's on the reload. I'm thinking about turning around, then I'm realizing, nope, my indecision here killed my chances of winning. And this is kind of where I end up screwing myself over. I should have had the chance to push that 704, and now the T20 is going to rip into me. And mind you, I think he has a 76mm on it, which is kind of odd to see. Now that I'm looking at this again, and the 704 is thinking about... Now there's the Conway. Now what's going to happen is pretty simple. T20 got another hit into me, and the 704 kills me. Now, I know this is kind of a quick video for the kind of stuff that I do. But the point is, you got to do the best you can and try to keep fighting until the end here. And I feel like I did very well for what I was doing, but I made that critical mistake. I should have realized that the Conway would have been pushing around here. So if I pushed the 704, I then could have fought the Conway and the T20 in the same line. And they would have been both directly in front of me, and I could have handled the situation. Um, but I want to highlight this because this was a good match. And I was paying attention to how the enemy tanks were aiming, how well they were playing. I wasn't playing, placing that much face, faith in the enemy Type 4 Heavy because I saw that he was missing shots a lot and he was kind of just not playing well. So I didn't really take him into that much of a threat and I tried to kill the threats off one by one. Now this is not some crazy amazing replay, but I feel like it's something worth highlighting. A lot of people lately I find seem to just, seem to just give up. They say, oh, you know, it's one versus five, one versus six, friggin' I'm just gonna let them kill me. No, you gotta try, and put your best effort forward. You know, when you're facing off against this many enemies, the percentage of errors that you will make increases exponentially, at least the way I look at it, is if you're doing a one versus one, odds are one mistake isn't gonna kill you, and the odds of you making one mistake in proportion to your um, experience or talent level at this game or skill level uh, is a little bit different. But when you're facing off against this many enemies with really no support, because I know I had artillery and they did hit the Type 4 Heavy. I believe that was Hazmat that hit him. But even so, uh, I have no direct fire support and it's the case of you can do the best you can, but don't give up. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate um, hearing you guys down in the comments. Like, subscribe, comment, do what you want to do. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I shall catch you next time.